Good evening. Tonight, uh, we are going to study about the cross mark sealing by cross mark on the forehead of my heart. Okay, there's no other name but the name of Jesus. Now it is the time to call on the name of Jesus to be saved. God gives the chance to be saved ahead of strict punishment on the earth. Do you think that all human beings today are under the strict punishment of God? Okay, in these days, all over the world seems covered by heavy rainfall. China and Indonesia, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, even Mongolia was flooded yesterday and 63 persons were killed. This is the photo of Ulaanbaatar, the capital city of Mongolia. It flooded a lot. Even uh, this kind of dry area flooded. Uh, something wrong is going to happen. Okay, the ceiling happened ahead of global wind of judgment according to Revelation chapter 7. Ceiling. So we must try to understand uh, what could be the ceiling. Ceiling happened ahead of global wind of judgment. It is written, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servant of our God in their forehead. This is a time of sealing of Christian faith, or already had the past. But still, I believe that there are, there are many people who are waiting for getting salvation by having faith in Jesus. Okay, it is written, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all tribes of the children of Israel. Okay, this number, 144,000, is limited to inside the Israelites. Okay, so the following Bible passage we can read. They're getting salvation and throughout all the nations. So there is a hope. This is a 144,000. This number, limited number, okay, listed to uh, Israelite. So it means even in Israel, there should be a great revival movement. It's going to happen. It is spiritual sealing. So we must make concern in this way. Do I need this physical mark on my forehead? Do I need to confess my Christian faith openly? Okay, in Middle East, kidnapping of girls still happens. So that this kind of uh, marking protects their daughters. So uh, this is a cross tattoo that on the forehead of daughters of Coptic Christians. Okay, they are surrounded by uh, militant uh, pagans, militant Muslims. And then still, even today, uh, kidnapping happened. So this kind of sealing on the uh, forehead, even on the wrist or on the arm, cross tattoo is very popular in Middle East among the uh, Arabic Christians. And so we must understand this. What is sure is that the cross mark or protection should be visible one, okay? Forehead or on the chin or on the wrist, uh, it, it should be a visible one. That's why the people who are trying to kidnap him, they give up because uh, it, when they kidnap the girls, then it is exposed. So uh, whenever they look at the girls who are carrying this kind of visible cross mark, uh, they would not 
kidnap. So there is an effect of this kind of visual, visible cross mark. The physical ceiling, okay, this is the important. This physical ceiling could be understood as spiritual ceiling in our heart, like a circumcision on heart. Okay, there are two kinds of circumcision in the Bible. In Jewish people was proud of themselves because they are carrying the physical circumcision, but still they commit sin. Uh, they became stubborn hearted people. That's why the servant of God scolded them. Your heart must be circumcised. Okay, your uh, ceiling must be done on your heart in that way. So the point is this message point. We must not be hiding. We must not be hiding like candlelight under a bowl. But the, my Christian faith should be standing on the lampstand to shine. Shine our faith in front of people. This is the message point. This is a time as we see that all things are getting worse. Everybody is suffering and dying. And we experience all the symptoms of the, the time of the end. We must be careful to confess our faith openly. Okay, sealing ministry of angels was given ahead of Jerusalem's destruction by Babylonian soldiers. It is significant. Ezekiel 9, 3, 4. Then the Lord called to the man who had the writing kit at his side and said to him, Go throughout the city of Jerusalem and put a mark on the forehead of those who grieve and lament over all the detestable things that are done in it. Okay, detestable things, idol worshipping, adulterous behaviors. We, we must stop joining all the secular things to be saved. The word for mark is tau, okay? This is message point. The word for cross mark is tau. The last uh, Hebrew alphabet, the last letter of Hebrew alphabet, this was in the form of cross, X or uh, plus cross mark. According to ancient Hebrew, do you see the Tau, the last alphabet, Tau, around 2000 BC it was cross mark, and 1000 BC X mark, and then 400 BC Tau, and the modern uh, letter Tau. It is the mark for divine mercy, okay? Originally, it was the mark for divine mercy for Cain. This marking is taken from such passages as Cain's mark for protection. Okay, uh, this is the process how we must get this kind of, uh, kind of protection. We must pray to God. Like Cain. Cain was a murderer. He committed sin of murder, but uh, he wished to have life. He wished to have his life protected and he Pray to God for getting uh, protection. And then God is merciful. God granted him to carry this kind of the mark of protection, some mark of divine mercy. So I wish you to receive this kind of divine mercy, mark of cross mark on your heart. Okay. Great revival, spiritual sealing was given ahead of the great tragedy of Jerusalem, this temple. Uh, destruction of Jerusalem temple happened again. First happened uh, 600 BC, and then second Jerusalem temple also happened AD 70 after rejecting, after rejecting Jesus Christ, after persecuting the great revival movement in Jerusalem. So this is a sure sign of uh, great revival and a great sure sign of uh, punishment of God. Spiritual sealing, spiritual revival. 
is given or had the great tragedy or had the great punishment of God. Okay, Salad, rebel leaders of John, Gishchala, and Simon were captured by Titus in Jerusalem in AD 70 AD and were paraded in Rome in the professional depicted on the Titus Ark. Okay, it is attested by historian Josephus War. Okay, so uh, okay, I want you to remember great revival could have understood as spiritual sealing in our heart. Okay, we must be the people of God. People of God in Hebrew am. Okay, repeat after me, am. People of God. Okay. According to ancient Hebrew, am, uh, ayin, ayin and mem. Okay. Ayin and mem. Ayin means I. This is the picture of I. Or ayin, today they pronounce N. N or ayin referring to both human eye and spring fund. And the mem, mem this is a water wave, picture of water wave, referring to water. In Israel, water always referring to living water because the water is so <clears throat> rare, <clears throat> the dry season is so long. So for them, water always life supplier. <clears throat> now for the people of God, Sea water gave them great help. <clears throat> okay, now many people are dying because of the flood, because of heavy rainfall. But uh, people of God, they are the one who sees mighty hands of God. Okay, as, as my spiritual eyes are open, then I can see mighty hands of salvation by watching over by looking at floody water. Okay, number one, uh, am means sea, okay? And then the developed meaning is perceive. See, when you see, then you understand, you perceive what's going on. We, we are supposed to see mighty hands of God in the water. Okay, see and perceive mighty action of God in the water, water of Red Sea. So Israelites were flying, the, uh, running away from the attack of the Egyptian. Okay, uh, they were chasing after them, but they, they were running away, but they they are stopped in front of the uh, Red Sea. There's no other way to turn back. Uh, they are afraid of the Egyptians, war chariots and soldiers, and then enter a going forth, march forward, or they are drowned inside the Red Sea water. But God divided the sea water. God made the way of salvation for them. Exodus 14, 21, 31, Israel saw that great work. Israel saw the great work in the water, which the Lord did on the Egyptian, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Okay, by the prayer of Moses, God used to Moses the staff, God's staff, stretch out and prayed, the strong wind and began to blow and then see what they divided. They became the witness of great God's salvation <clears throat> by watching water, fearful water, but by the mighty hands. And they saw the mighty hands of God. Number two, the people of God also saw Mara's bitter water. They arrived water by walking, by traveling for three days, but the, the moment they drink, the water was bitter water. 
But Moses prayed to God, and then God made bitter water into sweet, fresh water. They saw water again. And then number three, they saw fresh water gushing out from the hard rock. They also traveled for three days and then arrived at the dry rock. But there's no water. The people complained. But God commanded Moses, command against the rock to gush out water. Oh, and even Moses was not able to believe that. So he was he burst his anger. Should I make the water from this dry rock? And then he hit he hit the rock with his uh, shepherd cane. <clears throat> but the God granted the water gushed out. It's a miracle. So they saw water, miraculous water once again. Okay, now I'm explaining the picture. This picture, uh, on the submerged seabed in Red Sea, on the crossing point between Sinai Peninsula and Saudi Arabia. Okay, yeah, this is the wheel, wheels of Egyptian war chariot. And then archaeologists find out there are so many remains of broken uh, wheels, broken war chariot, including many wheels. This is the frame of wheel. Okay, they found out the crossing point archaeologically. They found out uh, in the beach of Nueva Beach on the eastern beach of the uh, Sinai Peninsula. They found a great granite stone stone pillars standing uh, one side standing the Sinai Peninsula seaside and another pillar standing on the western seaside of the Saudi Arabia that was the crossing point and then archaeologists they searched on by submerging diving and then they took a lot of uh, photo uh, materials so, uh, just 10 years ago, okay, it is happened. So, it ignites, that it encouraged Christians that what is written in the book of Exodus is really happened. Okay, whatever happened uh, 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, could be happen again, even today. Because we believe in God creator. Okay? Even though scientifically, is it necessary? We might be skeptical. If it is necessary, even God can perform the same miracle to save his people. Mm. Okay, there is another mm, archaeolo archaeological study. Genesis 59. God said to Abraham, it's about the uh, uh, Abrahamic covenant. God commanded him, take me on heifer. Heifer. Heifer means shikha. Symbolically, on behalf of Sarah. Because uh, the shikha is very unusual. Why female cow? Or it because it stands for uh, woman. Barren woman. She was unable to be conceived. But that's why God intentionally prepared a half a three year old three year old why three year old is a fully grown okay when god is going to uh, make a, any covenant covenant partner must be grown up one the three years old means fully grown why god would not make his covenant with baby with uh, immature Children, no way. Fully grown one. Okay? If you wish to become a covenant partner, make yourself grow more. Okay? This is the message point. Then another, she goat. Why she goat? Another she goat. Uh, uh, a second wife. Okay? It could be 
uh, on behalf of second wife or Hagar or second wife, uh, another wife. Three year old and ram. Okay, this is a male ship. Ram. Ram stand for, I believe, they stand for this on behalf of Abraham. Three years old, fully grown, and turtle dove and young pigeon. Okay, they stand for all other servant, all other family of Abraham. And he took to him all this and divided them. In the middle and laid each piece one against another okay here divide it divide in the middle so this sacrificial the animals must be cut into pieces in the middle in Hebrew uh, batar divide batar in Hebrew the word divide, okay, there are many words, badal divide also, or karat also divide or cut. But here, I believe intentionally, God chose the word batar because the physical meaning, badal is divide, upper water, lower water, and then karat, whenever they uh, cut animals body they use karat okay usually they use uh, karat berit mean karat berit means uh, cut the uh, covenant but here intentionally uh, intentionally the Moses used the term batar okay by the inspiration of Holy Spirit batar the word batar sever cut divide is significant according to ancient picture letter. This patar means here, patar, b, b, bad, bad, house plus houses, many house means village or community or, or all Israelite. And then tav, that's cross mark, you see we have learned already tav cross mark. Cross mark uh, on the precious man or on the precious thing. Holy one and the holy things cross mark and then resh human head okay this is a picture of human head it's a man it's okay well we can make this kind of interpretation what's the meaning of divide them what's the meaning of the uh, karat what's the meaning of cut off batar action of making buried okay it is making action of making buried so number two, to make a covenant means to make community people, to make the Israelite bad, bad, ba, bad, bad, to make bad, bad, to make Israelite, again, to be the cross mark man, to be the cross mark, cross mark and man, okay, cross mark man. What do you imagine? What's the, what could be the meaning of cross mark man? Oh yeah, the cross mark, functional cross mark is to uh, give salvation or divine mercy, mark of divine mercy. So we must be cross marked, cross marked men. Yeah, now we are fearful, we are afraid of uh, coronavirus, we are afraid of the murderous, uh, the rainfall killing rainfall, killing typhoon. That's why we need divine protection. We need cross mark. This is the, uh, it is guaranteeing us we are going to be protected, we are going to be saved. Okay? So we need to be, we must become a crossed man, cross mark man. Okay? Uh, for what God made the, this kind of covenant the right so God wished to give protection for Abraham and his family members okay number three Cain the first murderer Cain received this cross mark Hebrews in Egypt received cross mark by blood of Passover lamb okay and in the book of Exodus God commanded 
the throw the blood over the door frame okay and then bible scholars understood this is a cross mark second cross mark okay number four jesus became the man on the cross okay jesus also became the cross marked man okay cross marked man okay. he was nailed on the cross okay for whom for his people for the people, Beth, Beth, human community. So in this way, Batar, okay, according to the ancient Hebrew, Batar, okay, is, is showing another revelation, Batar. It's very significant. So Abraham, Abraham had this kind of uh, covenant right, and then this covenant continued, continued throughout Exodus, Lepticus, and they continued to the time of Jesus Christ. And then eventually Jesus became cross-marked man, okay, for all the human beings to be saved, okay? Only Jesus. Jesus, he's the one cross-marked man on the cross. We are saved. Okay, now we are... Going to make conclusion in the book of Acts 4, 1 to 12. Non-Christian Jerusalem leaders arrested Peter and John. However, many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of men came to be about 5,000. 5,000. They are saved. 5,000, spiritually speaking, uh, they became a cross-marked man. On the next day, Jewish leaders had Peter and John in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Rulers of the people and the elders of Israel, let it be known to you all that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stand before you healed. Okay? This born crippled, healed by the name of Jesus Christ. Even today, we can be healed by the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus has become the cornerstone of new temple of God, spiritual temple of God, Christian church. Okay, Jesus has become the cornerstone of Christian church, new temple of God. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Okay? Jesus is the only one who can be saved. There is no other name but Jesus Christ. Okay? This, is the, this is the time to renew our Christian faith. I wish you to read Bible more. Okay? Sing praises to God more until our heart is uh, receiving spiritual sealing. I wish you to feel, I wish you to experience uh, the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the heart feeling of the Holy Baptism, because we need uh, such an assurance, firm assurance of be feeling with the Holy Spirit, because we are weak, we are facing, we are surrounded by dangerous uh, pandemic situation, dangerous, the water falling, we are exposed to dangerous situation. We need firm assurance, okay? God knows what kind of firm assurance we need. God is going to grant the firm assurance for you. May God take hold of you. May you experience firm assurance of spiritual sealing in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, shalom, shalom, heavenly peace be on you. See you next time. Later on, later, later on, see you next time.